After the shooting of the Indian Manilenda along Parliamentary Avenue on Friday by a police officer, Ivan Wawire, President Museveni in a tweet posed six questions on the security gaps in the leadership of the Uganda police. Where there are uh, internal threats to security. But for a section of legislators led by Bujidi Municipality legislator Asman Vasarira, the six questions on security gaps were uncalled for, especially coming from the Commander-in-Chief who is supposed to be providing solutions to the increasing gun violence in the country. It is irregular, it is unprecedented that a head of state and commander in chief turns uh, and begins asking questions from the Wanaichi and also from his security agencies. He, and, and the answers should be coming from him. He's the chief custodian of the Amare. Basalira notes that the questions from the president were supposed to be discussed in a security boardroom, but not sharing them on his Twitter handle. But when um, you try to externalize an internal problem and make it a problem for all of us, the Wanaichi, we get scared. But to MPs Nathan Itungo of Kasahari South and James Kakoza of East African Legislative Assembly, the president was right to pose the questions through his Twitter as it would help the leadership of the police force to close the security gap. The president was right to ask, why don't you follow the rules of the game when you are carrying the gun and when, when you are using the gun? That's why even at the police station you find there is a room where guns are kept, which is called an AMRA. So you don't, even if you're a police officer, you don't just have a gun or access a gun anyhow. No, you must access a gun through the procedures. It's a wake-up call that lacks the vigilance of people who are handling guns to be checked thoroughly very well because it has a very major impact in the public domain. The legislators also want government to help in strengthening the operations of both the Exodus and was a land of circles for both police and UPDF to avoid circumstances of having security officers running to the money lenders. Why would a police officer go to a, a, a money lender yet he has a, an institutional circle which can serve him? I think, you know, talks a lot of the kind of um, uh, ineffectiveness of this, of this circle exodus in trying to uh, address the needs of the policemen. They said the issue of the money shops and police shops where the security men can get goods at a subsidized price must also be urgently addressed. Linda Ndumgami, Sam Ibandamgami, NBS, Live at 9.